not looking for sex. And to be upfront, I'm a little chubby. But if that doesn't bother you, let me know if this sounds like fun. I come up from behind you in the arcade room in the back and start feeling you up from behind. Slide my finger into your set pussy and tease your ass. Thinking of doing this sometime on Saturday. Pick needed for reply. <laughs> I don't understand though. Like, what's is he just like letting you know on Craigslist? Like, I'm thinking of doing this on Saturday, so just let, uh, if you want to talk about it, that's cool. I will need your set pussy in this location. <laughs> oh, wet pussy, right? But his finger, <laughs> he made a typo. And, and set pussy it. is some kind of arcade high score slang thing, I believe. <laughs> when he when he drafted this in Microsoft Word, it didn't show up with the little red squiggles. So <laughs> fuck it. Or he he really typed it in get pussy. Or let's pussy, you know, the next panel name. Mm. <laughs> the next new YouTube craze. This was a this was a this was a thing I noticed in my Craigslist analysis that I do at every convention we go to. It's for pure research, of course. But uh, you know, at RTX, I tend to notice some more more out there ones that are funny to read. Whereas Magfest, maybe it's just due to more high volume of ones that are getting submitted. But they're all pretty milk toast. Where you're like, hey, I want some cock, you know, hey, you want to meet up for some fucking? There's a lot of people wanting people dressed in cosplay to fuck them. A lot of tutorial. A lot of, tutorial. A lot of Undertale. <laughs> Tons of that. Well, about that. Um, Before we totally get into it, do we want to say howdy, folks? Welcome to Retsu Talk, episode 80. Oh, thank you. That's normally my job. Yeah, I know, but you're not fucking doing it. I'm in the zone. And yeah. I'm glad to be here. I like, I, I'm the one being a dick and playing devil daggers while we do this, so whatever. That's fine. So, yes, for those of you who don't know, we were recently at MAGFest, the music and gaming festival, mm -hmm. 2016, in the National Harbor in Maryland. This was our first time going. Turbo C is with us, special guest, super good friend of the show. Howdy. Howdy. Turbo, you are a MAGFest vet. You've been there at least for the past 20 years now or so, I believe. Yeah, I mean, I, I helped uh, create it. I time-traveled back to create it back in the 18th century, and it's really just taken off from there. Wow, kind of like how I did. Yeah, nice. Um, no, yeah, I um, have been within like driving distance of it for quite a while, so I've been there probably like five or six times. Would you say it's your favoritist convention? Well, now that you guys are here. Hey. That's right. That was the setup and you nailed it. Please let my family go. How <laughs> 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 sad that sounded. Just like, this reserved, like, I know they're not going to let my family go. But <laughs> <laughs> it's fruitless to reason with these monsters, but sorry, anyway. But we went to a Magical Fest to do our first ever non-Rooster Teeth set con panel yes huh? totally and we survived this also brings a number of distinct panels i've been to to three uh pa three pa me too by weird coincidence oh you've been to different paxes though right like pax south and pax mm. prime because oh, i thought you said number of panels you've done oh no 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 i meant like i said did i say panels i meant conventions sorry but runaway guys pax runaway guys magfest <laughs> <laughs> why don't they have their own con yet um they will soon <laughs> mm -hmm. um it's, it's all that nintendo capri sun fame that's gonna get them that really <laughs> that's right <laughs> oh god uh so before we get too off the rails here yeah. I, we do need to get our first conversation topic in focus oh yeah i'm sorry okay. so our panel yeah so yeah go ahead You'll our panel play. was at seven o'clock in the p.m on saturday there mm -hmm. was uh, so as we usually are want to do we go to the panel room where we're gonna perform as i like to say mm -hmm. scope it out make sure everything looks like it's on the up and up so there was a panel before ours it was called i have it up here naps to Bluk's family tradition which was going at the time when we peeked by yeah it ran from 5 30 to 6 30 p.m one hour the description for this panel is as follows. <clears throat> Naps to Bluke, as many of you know, is the cutest ghost of all time. Thank you, Toby Fox. But in order to truly appreciate him, we must follow in his family's footsteps. Join the Undertale community as, after eating your MAGFest meal at wherever you like, you proceed to lie down and feel like garbage, just like Naps to Bluke does in his home. There will also be spook tunes for those who are wondering. So... It's not really clear what this panel is. I did all. hear from an inside source that there were no actual spook tunes, so... Ooh. Oh. 
deceptive description. Now, no flag. what I heard was, well, this panel, I'll tell you, I'll say it this way. So this panel was right before ours. We arrive a little early to kind of, like, we scoped out the room before, but, like, as that panel was leaving, more or less, like, I guess around 630, you know, just, like, see if we can get in early, kind of set up, that type of thing, you know? Um, mm-hmm. So Beatus and I walk in. I don't know if you were there, Turbo, or not. Yeah, I in. showed up a little bit later. So Beatus and I kind of walk in the room, and somebody online, who, there's a line for us, by the way, which was awesome. Um but somebody online who I was talking to was like, yeah, they're, like, cuddling in there. And I was like, oh, haha. And then I walk in, there's some Undertale people, like, walking out. You know, you can see a couple cosplayers, all that. And I go, and I kind of yell to a couple of them, like, to, to, to be friendly and jokey. I'm like, I heard you guys are cuddling in there. But I said it in, like, complete silence. Yeah, no reaction. Not even nervous laughter. Nothing. Not anything. No one turned their heads to acknowledge us. It was the guiltiest silence I've ever heard in my life. Like, <laughs> Yeah, like, it just... It permeated the room. It was it was a weird sort of like yeah we were cuddling in there and I should not have been doing that. You know what I mean? Like, like I will never speak of this experience ever again. <laughs> so there were a few people who were there to see us who thought they may not have been able to get in the room beforehand. To, so they were they went to the panel actually beforehand mm-hmm. and uh, we got some verification that yes indeed this was a panel where people listen to Undertale music, and then in the process, they lie down, like the ghost does in Undertale, and then cuddle each other for an hour. So, for the completely uninitiated, there is an optional scene in... Well, there's a there's a mini-boss in Undertale named Naps to Blue, who's kind of a sad ghost. He's funny. Um, mm-hmm. I like him. There's, an op- there's a part where you find his house later, and an optional thing where you can lie down and feel like garbage, according to the game text. Right. You listen to music, like, the scene kind of fades out. It's just completely optional or whatever. So someone just... There's no cuddling, is there? No, there isn't. Okay. Basically, someone had the idea, like, why don't we make a panel about this? Which is, like, maybe a drunk, funny... Like, it's it's like like a funny little tweet that five year followers would retweet, and that'd be that. But somebody was like, I guess, was like, no, 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 that is, in fact, a great idea for a panel. And so it was a panel. So let's cut these Ritz Parade guys and give them an extra hour. (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> so it apparently turned into what is called a cuddle puddle, to which I asked... Is it really called cuddle puddle? I've heard cuddle party before, but I haven't heard cuddle puddle. Do you honestly think the people who would, would just cuddle random folks in a fucking panel are not going to avoid... They're going to avoid a cutesy rhyme? What is, it's not cutesy, though. The word is puddle. That makes some things happen in the imagination that you don't want to happen. Right. Look, you're cuddling, it's hot, it's, you know, a lot of sweaty nerds. Uh. There's there's some pictures that have been posted of the cuddle puddle in progress. Like, not everyone commits to the cuddle puddle. Like, some people just lie down. I'm looking at a picture right now on Twitter. Uh, there's a couple of cuddlers here and there, and then some people just kind of awkwardly sitting in their chairs. Some people pressed against the wall playing their 3DSs. <laughs> Half of them are not laying on the floor at all, and so like should have immediately yeah. been injected from the convention. But I, I honestly, there's a couple of people dressed as papyrus who look like they're whispering. Like, do you think this is a terrible idea? <laughs> you have to imagine too. There were Undertale fans who are probably like, "Oh, I'd go to an Undertale panel. Why not?" Like, and then they get there, and it's like, "Oh, this is not what I expected." Yeah, the it to description be. is just vague enough where you don't really know what the it is. I know, we were just kind of like, I guess we're following Napstablook's family tradition? What the hell is that? It's like, Whatever oh. that is. I, <laughs> I just, it was so weird. I asked those two kids, like, not kids, I asked those two guys, like, uh, you know, was there cuddling? Ha ha. And they're just like, mm. like, oh my. And then, that's like the weirdest part. What are you, a cop? I know. Like, uh, did someone get murdered in here? Mm. Like, oh <laughs> boy. That's a question I didn't want to ask. I never really knew until going to MAGFest just how zealous the Undertale fandom is. I want to tell you the reaction the gaming community has had to Undertale nowadays, because I seriously, I went up an elevator at MAGFest, to, like, to, um, which we'll talk about, like, hanging out with Metabot. And we should say, Game Facts Game of the Year. So, oh, ever. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. Game, Game of the Ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unanimously. Come on. I'm stunned. Res- respect. The- respect where respect is due. Amazing how the Game Facts community uman- unanimously came out and said this was such a good game. I didn't <laughs> realize. Things like that that just bring everyone together. <laughs> uh, but no, it was funny. I swear to God, I, I in, the, in like two trips, I went down, I went, 
up an elevator, and this drunk guy was going to me, goes to me, like, really apropos of nothing, except for my Toriel costume. Uh, he goes, yo, <laughs> Undertale sucks dick. And then, <laughs> and he goes, but the soundtrack is fuego. But there's... We a- should say, people drink a lot at MAGFest. Oh, yeah, they do. And, but th- yeah. and then he goes... But you know what game has a better soundtrack? And then he just said nothing. And my floor was coming up. And even though I didn't want to talk to this drunk guy because he might have been, a, he seemed like he was starting to get a little surly about Undertale. I was like, what game? And he didn't answer me. Like, and then I was getting on the floor. I'm like, wait, what game has a better soundtrack? I got to know. And he clicked the well, door. That closed. was his point. There is none. <laughs> and then on my way, like de- on my way up the elevator the second time, uh, it wasn't subsequent trips. Swear to God, guy in a giant Sans outfit with like a big cardboard pixel head and shit, and like an LED light, <laughs> which I will say was actually kind of cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, like within ten minutes of seeing you guys when you got there, like saw like three Undertale cosplayers, and not like just like simple ones. It was like. People going all out like, oh, I'm gonna be Toriel and Sans, and you know, like full body costumes. Yep, I saw an Undyne, Metaton. Um, I saw maybe six or seven Toriels. No King Asgore. No one really seems to care about him, but I saw, I saw one of them. But... I saw what do they call the ca- the main character? Kara now, I think. Chara, yeah. Chara or Kara. I guess it doesn't matter. I <laughs> oh, and uh, Temi Chang was there, the artist. Oh, one of, well. I guess she's the main artist on Undertale, right? Yeah. Like she did, mm-hmm. um, apparently most popular person at the convention. Yeah, apparently, like, her line went crazy. Like, she ran out of artwork to give away, like, on Thursday, and she had, like, a ton. Like, her line was longer than most panels. Yeah. I yeah. I like Undertale, but I have the feeling the community is really starting to piss people off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that, too, which is why I didn't really talk to too many people about that. Well, you know what? I think the thing is, honestly, like, um, it's, you know, it's like one of those games, like, your friends tell you, like, hey, this is really cool, you gotta play this, you know? And it's like, you're pleasantly surprised, and it's, it is really good, I think. But, like, then when... Met- but you experience that in a bubble. Right. right. But then when, like, Metacritic says this is the, like, better than Half-Life 2, best PC game of all time, it's, it's just not gonna live up to that expectation, you know? So that's I I think that's where some of that backlash comes from. Well, let me ask you this: Have you ever experienced a Half Life Two cuddle puddle? You know, yeah, I have to admit I have. I don't think you have, have no. you? Also, the Homestuck yeah. crossover doesn't help things a lot. But <laughs> I still I still don't understand what that is. Homestuck. Yeah. Yeah, let's I'm, I'm just, let sleeping dogs know. lie. <laughs> it's so hard to describe. Yeah. Okay. So one other thing about Undertale that I want to note. Yes. So someone posted this on Twitter, uh, tagged us in it to mention it. So after the Naps- so Napster Books Family Tradition ends at six thirty p.m. Okay. Yeah. On Craigslist, there is a posting called on the same day, Magfest Undertale Orgy. <laughs> <laughs> the time. No, to, we're done. We're, ta- we don't need anything more. <laughs> well, parentheses National Harbor. The time for MAGFest Undertale Orgy, 7.30 p.m., one hour after this uh, cuddle puddle thing ends. The description says, okay, now I should say there's a picture of kind of a, what's supposed to be a sexy tutorial, I guess? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I do recall this picture. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. The description says, need determined fans and cosplayers to get ready to act and flirt with other humans oh, and monsters. Why do we have to go to that level? No diseases must have an EXP or LV of zero. Meet at the gazebo at 7.30 p.m. and we'll convene to sweet afterwards. <laughs> hey guys, look, I'm balancing dildos on my head like sands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Try solving this puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> you found to make me come. <laughs> Well, Junior, your dad and I met at the Undertale orgy. <laughs> so, like, I know there's... Magfest has a lot of, like, private parties in people's rooms. Mm, uh, yes, it does. This, I guess they took the uh, orgy private parties up to 11 this time. <laughs> Floor 11 of the convention. I feel so terrible for the hotel staff. Well, you know what? Um, Bear Pigman was there, and he was telling me that the previous week was Katsukon, and apparently, like, they, like, wrecked the hotel, which I can't believe. 
Yeah, there was like flooding and holes in walls and. Cause you no effect. You don't think of holes in walls. Yeah. And... Did people have actual anime power moves? They. You don't think of like like anime conventions as being like the rock star sort of trash your hotel room type of thing, but. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy shit, not Katsukon, they're animals! Someone said Digimon's crap! <laughs> How dare you! And then sucks off Toriel. <laughs> so, so the folks at the hotel had to deal with that, and then MAGFest a week later? Yeah. Apparently, MAGFest is, like, while a little wilder, um, you know, a little more respectful to those. Like, I, I, I heard that they didn't have to clean up the well as bad, you know. As much. Yeah. With- well, I was saying at the convention, I feel like MAGFest is just like a slow burn of crazy, whereas Katsukon is probably just like everyone pretends to be nice and hate and like each other and then fucking anime at the at night. <laughs> <laughs> fucking anime at rip, night. <laughs> rip, tra- uh, <laughs> rip doors off walls, you know. I'm going to trash this place Prince of Tennis style. Um... <laughs> Yeah, much tamer stuff happens at MAGFest, such as uh, such as this. Okay. Just throwing out feelers to see about getting off at MAGFest. If you've seen someone there cosplaying Mad Max, Star-Lord, or Warhammer 40k Commissar, that might have been me. Drug and disease-free, open to try whatever. <laughs> um, what are your, what's your general impressions of MAGFest in, in, well, general, compared to other cons you've been to? I, I, wish, I wish I had gone on Thursday or Friday instead of Saturday. Same here. So due to a kind of tight schedule, I flew in the day of the panel, did the panel, then kind of looked around the convention on Sunday, but it was mostly kind of dying down on Sunday, so I didn't feel like I had a whole lot of time to enjoy what it had to offer, and I think there's a lot to do there. So I think if we do this again next year, I'm going to come in earlier and enjoy the party a little bit more. Apparently... Uh, I don't know if he's joking or not. Sticky Rice in chat is saying there is a hole in the wall at KatsuCon, by the way, and someone wrote One Punch Man is was here. Like, what an asshole! Wow, that's not even funny. Like, what a a picture of that. Anyways, um, uh, you know what? I I feel bad. Honestly, Magfest made me feel a little sad in a way because I'm like, I really oh. wish something like this were around when I was like in college, and st- you know what I mean. Like yeah, because it's a week weekend long party. Yeah, and you can just like it's a weekend long party where you can just fuck around, play video games, and like, and you don't have to like you know whatever you want. In my day, when you were when you were like in your early twenties, you didn't talk too much about your video games. You didn't socialize with people. You had to, and it sucked. (laughs) No, um, at Magfest, it doesn't feel like there's as much waiting around to do stuff. Whereas at something like PAX, you maybe pick two or three things you want to do over the course of that day and most of your time is spent waiting to do those things yeah like when we when we try and do like the game rooms in packs something like that you know we have to wait in line to be like oh i want to play on the dreamcast and you'll have like 10 other people in front of you in line and then they have this huge uh basically the expo hall full of old crt monitors with all the Dreamcasts you want set up, and only you don't have to wait at all. And they all have Dreamcasts, by the way. You sound so downtrodden about this. Like you really wanted to play <laughs> Shenmue, and they just wouldn't let you. At PAX. <laughs> no, um, no, it's true though, right? Because it's like, you know, it's funny because uh, I think like PAX feels more like an expo would, as silly as that sounds. But Magfest feels all that industry. Not in- yeah, actually, uh, it's as ridiculous as it sounds, but like. Uh, MAGFest is like nerd Mardi Gras. Like, it's like a party. <laughs> it's just like a big celebration. Like, fuck it, I like games, I like drinking and, and, you know, other shit. And even if you don't like drinking, there's just, like, people having fun. I think out of, like, the hundreds of drunk people I saw, maybe two... One was Surly, you know, which I think is, like, for a, an event like that, is actually a pretty great ratio, you know? Yeah. And mm-hmm. and the other one was Surly, but about Undertale, which I don't give a fuck. You know, I'm not Toby, whatever is Fox, you know? I'm saying Toby, whatever his name is, I'll just admit it. That was the mental thing I had in my head. <laughs> uh, what do you call it? There was a there was a club, kind of a hidden away place where you could. Uh, it was mostly for guests of the room, but people at the convention could go as well. Mm-hmm. And there were 
uh, once you go up there, you know, there's the whole oomph, oomph music and people dancing and shit. And there were maybe a couple people in, in like fursuits going to town on the dance floor. And oh, it was an right. amazing sight. It was an amazing sight because we were outside and just kind of casually looking around and just, oh, hey. And they have the extra <laughs> VIP level of that lounge, which, you know, get that Rex Craig cloud in there. Mm-hmm. Maybe someday. Someday. Once we have that silver plaque to show off. <laughs> <laughs> which is never. Um, Blaze TK is saying, in all honesty, I heard this MAGFest was a shit show. Uh, I've never been to any other, so I couldn't really compare it. Uh, yeah, we have no basis for comparison. Yeah, it seemed all right. And we, we also all... didn't have much time to check it out. We weren't, and we weren't there Thursday, Friday, so I don't know. Yeah, we were only there Saturday and Sunday, but I, I sensed a lot of potential. Like, I bet if I went to this earlier next year, I'd, I'd have some more fun. All the, like, games and stuff that was available to play, you know, just walk around, don't have any... Not any scheduled things like panels and stuff like that. The stuff that was just all around, that was uh, all like sort of par for the course for MAGFest. The panels, I have no idea. I only saw two. Oh yeah, ours in Proton John's. Yeah. Shit, sh- Proton John's shit house of crap. <laughs> what, did you get like <laughs> ten people? What a jerk. <laughs> well, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, what do you call it? So should we talk about our panel? Um. Yeah, alright, sure. How did you feel? Um, I'll t- I'm going to tell you the truth. Um, oh, no. Again, it's the curse of uh, I don't know how the hell I did when I was up there. Like, I felt like I felt like we were doing OK. Like, I didn't, you know, hear any booing or like any like complete silence <laughs> or anything like that. Like, there are a couple parts I was a little like, oh, God, I, you know, I don't know if this is going all right or not, you know, but um, uh, afterwards, the way I felt about it, I feel like this is our best panel. I think so, too. Yeah. So I, just based off, like, laughter level, yeah, far and away the uh, most well-received panel. And then the best part that was afterwards was people would come up and be like, who the hell are you guys? And also, you're really funny. Like, <laughs> hell yeah. So it was, yeah, that happened after, uh, I think this was on Sunday, uh, someone came up to me, I was just eating lunch by myself, and came up to me and said, hey, were you one of the guys who did that uh, panel yesterday? And I was like, yeah, like, my fiance dragged me to this thing, she insisted I go, man, you guys were funny. I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. Yeah, it was, um, I think we've kind of, well, I can't say we've refined it, because t- here's the thing, MAGFest, uh, and I want, you know, I'm really grateful for the panels, so I don't want to, like, say this, like, in too bad a way, but it's a little free form in terms of organization. Um, so we didn't really find out we were getting the panel for sure until, like, I'd say a month out. Which yeah. which sucks for Beatus because you have to fly, you know? Yes. And the worst part is that if you apply for a panel at MAGFest, they have a specific thing they say, do not email us asking if you get the panel or you are disqualified from getting the panel. Because they like get so many people like, am I getting the panel? Am I getting the panel? Am I getting the panel? You know what I mean? I mean, after ten Undertale cuddle puddle panels, they have to, you know, yeah, put a lid on it. But um, the thing is, like, uh, well, the thing about it is too is like, god damn it, damn it, I'm playing playing double daggers in the background. Um, <laughs> I think the trick to if you do panel stuff, honestly, is just like, um, you kind of have to, um, like, just have to be going to the con anyway. You know, yeah, I because we applied for like um, PAX East as well, and have and you know haven't heard anything yes or no, and you're supposed. And I remember you do hear from them, so like that's only what like two months out now. Yeah, if you weren't going, that's another like, well, do I book the flight or don't I book the flight thing? And flights are tricky to book them like near the actual event. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So like um yeah so I think. I think that's the trick. I think people, the MacFest people and the PAX, I think they all assume either you're like um, somebody who is willing to fly out there anyway, like you do stuff like this for a living, like you're maybe a game journalist or a YouTuber or something like that. Um, Mm -hmm. But like, or that you were coming to the con no matter what. So who cares like whether or not you really get a panel? It's not like it's a make or break thing, even though, you know, for us, it kind of is because we aren't good enough to do this full time and, and have a lot of money. So, you know, right. So about my Patreon, no, I'm kidding. Um, (laughs) (laughs) no, uh, yeah. So it's, it's, it was tricky in that regard. Uh, but you know, we kind of figured, all right, let's, you know, we got the notice and you managed to get like a pretty reasonable flight. So, 
Yeah, yeah, it was fine. So anyway, the by point to predicating all this was so when we weren't sure about getting the panel, we didn't know about preparing for it. So then we only had like a month to prepare, and it even got to a point where a couple of times. I think we were like, do we, maybe we want to cancel this panel. Like, I don't think we're prepared for it. And, I you was know. getting there, yeah. Yeah. And we set like a deadline of like, tell you what, if we have no ideas for uh, next, by next Saturday, let's cancel the panel. And I remember, I think it was like Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe I go, what if we theme it around George Wood? And you were like, I could maybe get behind that. Cause there's a lot of stuff about George Wood. We always wanted to kind of do me or I always wanted to kind of cover. So, um, uh, there's a lot to explain that hasn't been really out there. There's still a lot to explain, but yeah, actually, you did, you did as much as you could in an hour. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, Hibeki is saying like, how is only a month enough time? Because the thing you have to understand, by the way, is Vetus and I don't live together. So if, or, you know, yet, but if you want to yeah. rehearse or something, you have to get on Skype. You have to have a dedicated hour. That time you're doing that is time you're not making RP videos and stuff like that, or Bloodborne or, or anything. Or working so, your normal job. Yeah, exactly. Right. So That's why the channel's been very slow for a little while as well. We kind of had to sacrifice RP videos for, like, panel prep, you know? Yeah. So, um... And yes, Flame F19, I did do the Bill Clinton voice live at the panel. Yep. Um, we went over... We had a whole thing, like, the History of Navigator, all that stuff, and it went much better than I think either of us even expected it to. Yeah, I remember when you were first telling me the, uh, it's like, hey, what if we theme it around Navigator? I was like, eh, it, could, it could work, but I wasn't, like, dead set on the idea. Mm -hmm. And it went a million times better than I imagined it would. Well, like, one thing, too, is we had, so we figured, too, the one problem with that theme is that people in the panel, like, in the attendance might not have ever heard of Navigator or not even watch our channel. Who knows? You know? Mm -hmm. So... And there were a fair number, because we asked that. Yeah. And so we had one of the videos we did. We did... <laughs> we have a little thing about this, too. We technically did four videos. Well, five, actually, really. But um, instead of our usual three. But one of them is was like a two-and-a-half-minute super cut that you, beat us edited um, of, like, kind of the best of George Wood. And it's... I felt, like, kind of weak about it, because it's, it's like, the you know, the Lara Croft... Uh, you know, breast cancer thing. Like it's things people have seen before. The Donkey Kong Country or you stupid things. So, obviously, so that was no commentary from us, meaning that, like, it wasn't from the Retro Prey video. It was from the original. So we would just kind of, like, go over the best of clip, kind of pause it, and add, like, a new joke we hadn't told before about it, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Except for Donkey Kong Country, because it's like, what more can you really add to that? But um, There's nothing to it. Right. I, so I was like, I was in panel prep and scripting all this stuff. I'm thinking like, this is gonna, this is going to be the worst part of it. We have to get through this as fast as possible. It killed. I was surprised, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I thought the weakest part was, uh, the game show video. Yeah. Cause we did, uh, if you haven't seen Cause it, it just, it's just long ish. It was nine and a half minutes. Navigator George Wood had a game show on the public access called who wants to see my derriere which is a video game based quiz show where if you win, you get to see his ass. Um, I'm really not making that up. And, uh, yep. we thought like maybe nine and a half minutes was too long. Nope. It, it went well. Yeah. In fact, I think the thing that was maybe what we thought was the strongest, which is our long play video might in fact have been the weakest part. It might've been actually, I don't know. It was just, I really felt good. Yeah. And I, um, mm -hmm. even though like right after, like, it's funny. Cause even right after, um, I, like, wasn't sure, but then I was starting to get reactions like, hey, maybe, you know, maybe there's something, maybe we should make this channel entirely about putting on shows about George Wood. <laughs> mm -hmm. In fact, fuck the YouTube yeah. channel. Let's just start a Kickstarter where you, or, or pa Patrick Go on Patreon. public access. Yes! <laughs> Even better! That's where it's at, man. Definitely. We'll come to your house and tell you about George Wood. <laughs> <laughs> the stretch goal. The stretch goal. <laughs> oh my god uh, so what else about the panel itself um they weren't set up for q a so we had to do a thing where uh well actually speaking of the setup oh yeah there, there was some there was some concern going into that um thank you brian i <laughs> say that yes uh he was a guy in the crowd who helped uh so there were two projectors in the room beef brought his laptop and 
we weren't quite sure where the hookups were and how to we were able to hook up like up. one at a time and then uh one of the guys in the audience brian mentioned sort of came in and he was able to get it to display on both yeah the concern was that there was no like whatever the equivalent of a guardian at rtx is at the room at the time so i kind of like busted out of there and tried to find someone which took me a very long time and by the time i actually did find someone they had already fixed the problem let me back up a little though because there's a little more to that so um let's rewind time uh what happened what, ter- what happened was the very helpful person who was supposed to help us set up and we had talked with email about before and things like that um they happened to have gone to the bathroom right around the time the naps to blue thing was ending which was when we arrived okay now surprisingly there was a line for the rest for the rp panel and like um, which I was kind of stunned at, to be frank. Uh, you know, we've had lines before, which, like, but not like, you know, it's whatever. This is like a line line. Like, I was like, whoa, there's people here, you know? Like, to put it this way, like, we, not to, I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to say, like, our room fit 150. We had 170 people come. Like, they, yeah. <gasps> that was kind of like, that was really overwhelming. They I mean, probably had that, to turn people away. That was fucking humbling, to be honest with you. Um, and there were some of the cuddle people who just didn't leave, also. Just still on the floor. In the sitting yeah, room. Yeah, still on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> um, but at any rate, so... Okay, so yeah. So if you imagine now, I walk in, I ask my Undertale people the thing about cuddling, they don't answer, so whatever. I walk up to the top of the thing. Here's the deal. Um, unfortunately, that guy was supposed to be there, I guess, and kind of like say, oh, okay, let me let you guys in and whatever. And um, Ike and Melt were outside, and uh, I, I guess Turbo, you were too. So um, I should have walked walked up later, but yeah. We said something like to them, like, "Yeah, come in" or whatever. Unfortunately, the people online then said, "Like, oh, I guess the room's open," and they started coming in. This was like thirty minutes before the panel was set to start. Yeah. So now all of a sudden, thirty minutes early, people are inside. Even worse, before we had set up or anything, and we couldn't yeah. we couldn't find the the person who was supposed to help us set up. So. All of a sudden, it's like, okay, so you ran it. So that kind of snowballing panic starts to set in a little bit, like, or is this going to happen? Yeah, I I honestly, I didn't feel, like, RTX, the tech, de- tech difficulty last time happened, like, with 10 minutes to spare. That's when I started to internally freak out. Here with 30 minutes, I, I didn't feel bad, because I'm like, I know someone's going to come. Like, this isn't going to be that bad, yeah. you know. That one I felt a little yeah. bit, I, I felt better. But at any rate, so you left to go find a guy. The fucking audience is already sitting in. We can't get projectors going. So I pick up the microphone and start working the crowd like a strip club comedian. Um, <laughs> they have those. How'd that go? You know, honestly, I don't think it went too bad. Um, so basically, <laughs> Turbo and I are just kind of like hooking up wires to things and trying to figure out how to get the double projector thing, which we've never had going uh, before, but get it, get it going. Um, and this guy in the audience, Brian, was like, hey, just yelled out, like, do you need help? I do this for a living. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so we set, we managed, after some doing, we managed the double projector, still like 15 minutes to go. I don't know if you came back at that point or what. I think I came back maybe with 10 minutes left. But after we got the projector set up, uh, you, you noticed like the mics were out of, uh, some of them responded differently. So, and yeah, th- some were like way too loud. So I ran to the back found the audio mixer and started messing with that. But as soon as I did that, you put the mics away and started working the crowds just without the mic. So I'm like, now I have nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so then finally we did, we got the mics going. Okay. So good leveling. So I played a little bit of a video. We didn't, uh, we weren't going to use like the George Wood tribute video to do audio level testing and stuff, you know? And then we're like, well, uh, is it, you know, because MAGFest said they'd record the event so we could post it on our YouTube channel, you know? Right. And there was indeed a camcorder in the back, but there was no one next to it. The guy, yeah, the guy who was help, going to help us set up, I guess, like, you know, he was really in the bathroom, if you know what I'm saying. Talking about yeah, Dookie. Like, um, doing number five, I guess. Yeah, no. So, we go in the back, and we see that there's a camera, and I think, um... And I guess I'm like a complete idiot all of a sudden because it's like, is the camera recording? And I'm like, well, there's a blinking red, l- there's a blinking red light, <laughs> and there's a red circle at the top of the display, which then I can almost feel me snarking myself internally, like, yeah, genius, it's fucking recording. So I guess they just have it recording all the time and then cut up all the panel footage, you know? No, so 
when I, when I looked at it, it would uh, it had been recording for an hour and fifty minutes, which means it had gotten all of the uh, Undertale panel beforehand. Well, it's good. <laughs> so we know that that footage is not lost, at least. Can you imagine? <laughs> and if we need to, we can use that and just kind of redub the panel already ourselves. Can you imagine if the camera runs out of memory just after the fucking Undertale panel? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, we didn't get your paddle, but we did get the cuddle party. Thank God. Like, the camera's like, I literally cannot contain any more information after this. <laughs> this is just too much. <laughs> it seems like only shame lives here now. Mm. Um, but, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so, uh, all right. So then after all that, the MAGFest guy comes back, then you're back. Oh, and then you go, can you keep working the crowd? I have to go to the bathroom, which I'm like, oh, really <laughs> fucking serious. So I was on a journey well, and I forgot to. Um, stuff. The desk, by the way, was full of empty water bottles and cups from the Undertale panel, which I'm like, who the f- why? But OK, whatever. <laughs> which is why we're like, can we have some new water? Yeah. So we, we asked him for water. At which point, all the guys immediately bolted out of the room. <laughs> i'm serious though i didn't see them right after that moment they they must have really wanted to get you the water i know yeah he, well i think he felt a little bad because we i was like actually you know we kind of just set up you know so he's like yeah and then you got back we got our water uh and it's like all right you want to start early and it's like yeah sure so let's start early and mm-hmm. we started early and then the panel happened then the panel happened Yay. Yay. Um, Rest is history. We gave away merchandise this time. No, you know, no big gifts because, you know, fuck it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, we did. Have, we had a lot we of like, the t-shirts gifts. and stuff we gave away. Um, so and we were the yeah. gifts. Yeah. Um, so if, if the recording comes out, if we ever get it, we'll do something with it. Yeah. yeah they uh, kind of shuffled everyone out of the room. So we didn't check to make sure that it recorded everything. But yeah, we met a, uh, met a lot of. A lot of cool people and stuff. Um, our Q and yeah, we did. Yeah, our panel honestly, like, we had the most amount of like we ended with fifteen minutes to go, which usually we end with about half hour for QA. Um, and even though I'd I'd asked for it, the room kind of didn't have the mic stand and stuff for QA Q and A. So I basically like stood up away from the table and like just kind of let people come up and take my microphone and stuff. Which we had a fast paced Q and A. It time. was oh yeah, and then we had lightning round yeah. Just so pro tip. Time is running out. Pro tip for all of you if, uh, attending panels, um, by the way, because I've seen this happen in other people's panels. I'll be the bad guy here. When Uh-oh. the panelist says, hey, time for lightning round Q&A, please don't go. Okay, so I have a three-part question. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's not a huge deal per se, but it's like I've seen that before. And it's like, no, that's not. You're not clever. Just pick the no, not even as a joke. They really do have three part questions, and I'm like, just pick the, the pick the best part. Pick the part you need the answer at the most. And they they won't they won't phrase it as like three questions as one. It's like, what's your favorite video game and why? Yeah, so it'll like, be like very open ended questions. What's your favorite video game? Okay, why? Okay, if that video game were alone with you on a desert island, it's like. <laughs> Let's say that video game doesn't exist. What's your second favorite video game and why? By the way, also, if this applies to you, you listening to this, you don't have to send an apology on Twitter or anything. I don't care that much. If I was really actually mad at you, I probably wouldn't even bring it up on this recorded podcast. But seriously, who do you hate? (laughs) And why? Shut up. And if you can pick another person. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But, um, (laughs) no, not shit. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. It was interesting meeting, like, uh, it was funny, like, I met some people, like, um, who, like, I've, you know, seen on, like, Twitter every now and again, or, like, Twitch chat, or whatever, or, like, video, co- or comments, or whatever, and it's like, oh, wait, you're that person. Yeah, I met, uh, Squint, aka, uh, Ishvan from the F Plus podcast. Hmm. Very cool dude. Um, I feel kind of bad in a way. We got invited, so the Super, uh, Super Best Friends had, uh, an All Friends cast, they called it, where they invited people to their hotel room for a cuddle pup no, which is for, why you weren't invited no mm-hmm. th- they invited us actually mm-hmm. but uh oh. you know we, we it was like we got well, in i didn't f- get the invite yes you did but okay I mean, um I, not directly you know, no you didn't actually um, through mr uh slow beef secretary mm-hmm. damn right um 
But at 5 p.m. Uh, but anyway, like it was at 5 p.m. before our panel at 7, so it was just like, I'm nervous as fuck, and I have a headache, so fuck it, I'll hook up with them later at some point, which didn't happen. But um, And then we went to Proton John's Throne Controller's panel. It's kind of a tradition whenever we go to these things to go to his panel now. And this is, I'll tell you too, when you do like a big thing, like a sh- like, you know, the panel or whatever, your brain gets kind of fried, I find, you know, like right afterwards. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I don't want to think about a thing. So basically, because it's like a tradition also that somehow I crash the throat controllers by being a contestant. Somehow. By total coincidence every single time. Right. Um, this That's time, strange. yeah, I like uh, Lukagen was there and like total and like. I go, hey, excuse me, I'm a friend of John's or whatever. She goes, yeah, I know. I know who you are. We met. And I'm like, uh, uh. And then, like, of course, the second she said that, I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot, of course. You know, but, like, <laughs> but like, your, like, your brain's fried. Like, I don't know. Like, she could <laughs> she could have been Toriel for all I know, but for real. <laughs> um, To be fair, everyone was dressed as Toriel. <laughs> that was the requirements to get into the panel. Yeah. I had to improvise. I hope it's still funny, though, because John was kind of like, God damn it, how do you keep doing this? <laughs> and then I got two questions right, which was awesome, because he hated that. You, like, pulled clutch on remembering Pac-Man ghost colors. They have a thing called the yeah. light. Or guessing Pac-Man ghost colors. Well, I kind, I, I mean, it's an old video game. I kind of know. So, like, they have a thing called Just the lightning. Just yellow for all of them? Well, yeah, so it was, like, pinky. I'm like, pink? Got it. Then it was, and I forget exactly which one, so if I get it, it's like, Clyde. I'm like, yellow? No. Sue? Yellow? No. And I forget, you know. Then I'm like, yellow? That's right. And the last one, like, kinky. And I'm like, that's not a regular one. And I don't, and I'm like, green? And John's like, son of a bitch, green! <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and then it was like, and then he, motherfucker puts up Dig Dug 2, which is like, no one would get it unless you're, like, nearing 40 like I am. So I'm like, that's, so I go, that's Dig Dug. He goes, yeah, but which one? I'm like, you know, it was just, I was so fucking smug because I'm like, you think I don't know this, don't you, you fuck? It's Dig Dug too. <laughs> and then he's like, and then, like, the number one place was, like, you know, three correct answers. So he's like, I don't believe you might actually fucking get in the lead. <laughs> and then uh, I forget what fucked me up, though. Oh, it was like. I think he miffed an audio He intentionally question. threw it. To be nice. <laughs> Some impossible audio question. It was Battle Block Theater, I think. That's right. it, yeah. It was like something about yarn being invented in 1984. Oh, and Lord Cuddy, who, by the way, we met, um, was also a contestant on Throat Controllers. That's right. So, uh, what do you call it? Oh, and by the way, I saw Proton John at his angriest. Yeah, I, I was a little, I was a little uncomfortable for a moment. Yeah. So the the crowd was uh, could not contain themselves, wanting to shout out answers to things, like especially easy ones that most people would know, but maybe like a particularly <laughs> yeah. young contestant came up and just you know, was clueless for perfectly reasonable reasons. Yeah. But <laughs> after after like the third or fourth time that happening, John was like, "I am serious, guys. Security, if someone else does this, I want you to kick them out." Yeah. It's like, oh shit. And not e- not even like that. Like he he I was you know he's a nice guy, but that was like some force. That was like security. They do yeah. that again. Get them out of here. Actually, yeah. he said, "Get them the fuck out of here. Drag them by the cock if you have to." <laughs> and then he pulled out literally a- kill them. He pulled out a gun and shot a kid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Proton John killed a child. No, um, he he shoots someone's jugular off. Nintendo Capri Sun was fine see, with it. See, I said I said plausible things, and you had to ruin it. Um. No, uh, it happened. <laughs> say. Then I just started. I just started. And John jumping. was perfectly in the right, by the way, because the crowd yeah. needed to shut the fuck up. Yeah, no, absolutely, he was. Um, no, but you know, because Chugga Conroy had to tell such great jokes as, "Oh, isn't that cool?" When there was ice on screen, and and Nintendo Capri Sun had to just sit there like a fucking lump. No, I'm just joking. But <laughs> yeah, we even got a few stares when we were making like joke answers. Oh yeah, I well I yelled I started yelling out Pikachu and Undertale for everything, and then, <laughs> but then like I seriously thought maybe this is helping him because then the audience will do ha ha I could be funny too things and then at least like obfuscate the real answer stuff you know perhaps maybe. yeah I felt bad though because he was John was trying to kind of roll with it at first he's like you know guys you're getting it wrong anyway so there's no point in yelling things out you know and then <laughs> but then he was like okay that's enough like you know because it really was getting obnoxious yeah then John became a demon. <laughs> Chugga Conroy started slicing people's heads off with the sword from Xenoblade. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's right. 
Then he made a joke about ice, even though that wasn't the right pun. But okay, Chugga, you got it. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough, Chugga. <laughs> That'll do, pig. <laughs> Let's see here. Do you guys do any, like, uh, games or anything else while you're there? Because we, we sort of split up after uh, Proton John. Um, we went to, so, I felt bad, Cyvalian had a panel called Cringy Cutscenes, which, by the way, had more people in it than us, but whatever. Um, not she had, bitter or anything. Uh, who's counting? You know, you know <laughs> I'm not. Cyvalian, uh, also goes by Zero Chan. Um, she does, she has, like, a, she has a lot of MAGFest panels. MAGFest is kind of, like, her favorite con and everything, but, like, she'll have, like, Kusoge games and, um, you know, Cringy Cutscenes, like, she has, like, a really good wealth of, like, obscure fucking shit you never heard of, you know? But I, mm-hmm. I told her I'd attend her panel, which I wanted to, but then when we, we went, but and it was, like, already, like, blocked. Like, we kind of left Proton John panels, John's panel early to go to hers, but then the doors were already closed, you know? So we couldn't get in. But then at one point, she apparently thought we were there, so she goes, um, oh, she thought Proton John would be there, too. She goes, so could Proton John help me with this? And then there was no one answered. She goes, okay, could Slow Beef help me with this? And then I wasn't there. So she goes, fuckers. But So I felt really bad, but <laughs> what am I going to do? Um, apparently it was very good, though. Yeah, I saw one of her uh, Kusoge panels last year. It was really good. Yeah, she's good at that stuff. She's good at shit. No, I'm kidding. Um, but uh, so, oh, and then because um, I didn't get, I, I went to the Super Best Friends panel really quick. I literally waved high and left. And by the way, what happened when I waved high, Wooly goes, yeah, somebody's waving high. Thank you, sir. Like, didn't. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> he was like way plastered at the time. He right? was bombed. I think yeah. I mean, I saw him and Matt and I think they were pretty drunk. I don't know. I, I wasn't there that long because I had to meet you guys in the club. So like, I, 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 uh, I don't know. Matt was like, where the fuck's the TV? We don't even have a TV. What the fuck? So. I think they were pretty bombed, but they were playing Sonic Shuffle, so we could forgive them, I guess. Eventually. Eventually. Oh, and then uh, what else happened? Um, oh, we went to the club. Um, got some drinks. Got some drink on. Mm-hmm. Uh, Did some dancing. We didn't do any dancing. Nah, not much. We just sort of gawked at the people that were dancing. Yes. And then, uh, then we were pretty much retired. We hung out with uh, Metabot, KFJ, and um, Pokey Captain for a little bit in their room. They were staying at the hotel. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Catching up on reminiscing about old school LP. Yeah, and Metabot. Really. Metabot introduced me to Zoop, the most '90s puzzle game that ever existed. Um, which oh, Shadhog just pointed out something that we uh, we missed over the ring toss. <gasps> oh oh God, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Yoshi's Cookie, but, uh, that's right, G-Vault. Um, so... Yeah, so they have a game space where, you know, they have their consoles, arcade area and stuff, and then kind of in the corner, they have, like, miscellaneous stuff, and you can buy tickets, and there was literal ring toss. It wasn't like you toss a ring at a single thing, though, it was toss a ring and land it in one of many bottles. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it wasn't literally the thing from Dark Seed 2. I just didn't, because uh, people are gonna want to know. Um, this was like, I think it was, what, T minus three, four hours to our panel? Yeah, this was like one of the first things you did when you guys got there. Yeah. Um, it's how we warmed up for the panel. <laughs> right. So I bought some tickets. What the fuck? I threw a round of rings, didn't hit anything. And you two did a round of rings, didn't hit anything. And then I was like, all right, I'll do one more. And I hit two. So I got an inflatable plastic sword. And then I was looking at the Beanie Babies. So I'm like, maybe I'll have something here my daughter, you know, would like to play with or some shit like that. And they had a fucking dog named Shadow, like with a little tag, Shadow. And I'm like, I Perfect. have to. And I'm <laughs> like, this is a sign the panel is going to go really badly because I just used up all my luck on trivial bullshit. But it, you know, <laughs> went all right. So. And one other thing I want to point out is that there was this row of games that was a row called Metroid Challenge. And the idea was that you just see if you can beat <laughs> every single Metroid game. And if you do, you write your name on a little thing, you get some props or whatever. So when I was there on Sunday, every single station was occupied except one. <laughs> and I think you know which game it was. <laughs> it was Other Rim was just idle on the pause screen. Everybody <laughs> else was playing every single other game. And the entire time I was there, no one picked it up. Better if you just set it onto theater mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> other well, Yeah, I don't know. Other M defenders usually go, but the gameplay, and I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. I'm sorry. 
Like Samus does cool. I, pl- I played a little bit of it at a PAX a while ago. It, it did not impress with its gameplay. There's there's like two good boss fights. One Ridley is like legitimately a fun boss fight in it, but um always. Yeah. Uh honestly like it's pretty I mean it's it's got cool like things like Samus does cool like kind of finishing moves and stuff like that. It's just the dodge timing, the window is so easy that you can I I really contend you could probably blindfold blindfoldedly do the reflex dodging in it, you know? It's just like I like there I was fighting the boss like uh, one of the bosses and I was literally just hitting left right with no regard to timing and or anything whatsoever and I like managed to like get like survive this like bullet hellish kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's just like I don't know. No and thank you, sir. So next panel about other M you think? Oh yeah. Yeah. I I I uh yeah, so I think the thing too, like that was scary about the panel is, you know, if you center it around a theme and that theme goes like doesn't go as well as you think it will, it's like you're kind of fucked. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's hit or miss. Yeah, so we kind of like we threw in like we we rolled the dice in a way with a George Wood themed panel, but it went over well. Um, yeah, so much so that honestly, like we had, I'm thinking about it in hindsight, like we had the the um long play thing to like kind of hedge our bets but in a way it doesn't make sense because it's like we already threw in with george wood you know mm-hmm. well, it's sort of like a taste of the future i guess i guess so even though we never got to hell of cyberpunk color. always gotta leave him wanting more that's a good point actually yeah all right mm. I'll, i i'll 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 redact that statement uh, what do you call it? One of my, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if we'll get the PAX panel or not. Some, um, what do you call it? I wouldn't count on it. I don't know, you know. Somebody told me that, like, we, uh, I don't mean, like, an insider, but, like, someone who's just, like, ha- has done PAX panels, but, uh, is, like, I think you might get it, you know? Yeah, PAX just seems so overcrowded with content. Yeah. It's very true, yeah. But, yeah, fuck it. It's a bit of a coin flip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bit of a ring toss. Either, I mean, we're, uh, yeah. We're all going to be there oh. either way, but. Exactly. True. Right? So. Yeah. Um, what else do we want to bring up about RT, uh, MAGFest? Uh, I don't know. Sunday was pretty uh, pretty slow. You left relatively early. I, I didn't feel too hot. Like, um, yeah. so. We played a little bit of Werewolf. Played a little bit of Werewolf. Sent out some tweets. Had a couple people come up and play. They were very chill, very friendly folks. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Then just kind of resting and then flying back. It was a very quick weekend. Yeah. Yes, mm. it was. But I would do it again. Yeah, me too. I uh, I definitely yeah. like MAGFest a lot. Yeah, I thought you guys would like it. I did. So, Beef, if you had to choose, like if you have to choose cons going to next year, we've already committed to ones this year, but for next year, if you had to choose between MAGFest and PAX East, which would it be? I, um, it's a really good question. Uh, I would, I might actually lead MAGFest. If I were... I'm with you. If I were 10 years or even five years young, well, 10 years younger, I would def, I'd be like 100% MAGFest. It's, I am getting old now, though. But you are 10 years younger at heart, right? That's true. I was up till 2 a.m., actually, so. Yeah. But, Partying. Yeah, buddy. Yeah? Yep. Um, no, you know what's Partying, too? checking in with the wife, yeah! I told people at work about it, which is, like, an odd thing, because, like, usually with video game convention stuff, I figure, like, hey, nobody cares, you know? But I'm like, I was like, honestly, it's, like, a big party, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, and I work in IT, so that helps, too, but, like... Right. I like the, uh, I like the unstructured nature of it. Yeah. Um, I agree with that. Because it's not like, alright, I'm at PAX, I want to be at this panel at this time, and then I need to devote this much time to the expo hall, wait in line this long to play a new game that's coming out, blah blah blah. At MAGFest, it's all just loose, just do whatever the fuck you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly right. Um, yeah, I would definitely have liked to have gone, like, arrive a little earlier and stuff like that, and it's something that, like, yeah, like, I feel like even if you're not super into games, like, people could have fun with it, you know? People in the chat are giving us several suggestions for, uh, places we should go. Like Momocon, Dragon. cons or places in National Harbor, L- like all their all their houses. And... Oh, okay. <laughs> no, for uh, for cons, um, like what? Let's see, Axel saying too many games. I never heard of that one. 
No, a lot of these. I've Sounds heard like there'd of. be too much to do at that convention. Oh my! God. Is there such a thing as that convention? Because oh. there are so many games to play. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't either, but it was great. <laughs> I'm leaving this. <laughs> That's what we call content. Yeah, I guess the uh... content. Mm-hmm. Those places have a uh, guess. I guess if people want to request us i guess it's harder though because getting vacation days and all that which ones fly you out there yeah like if if we can get any sort of sponsored stuff like that <laughs> which, which cons are not very long playing right away <laughs> this this weird game show where an old man shows you his ass is sponsored by activision <laughs> yay hey far cry primal hey you know, since, since we the, could go to Katsukon. <laughs> Katsukon? Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, we that just, way we can just hang out and be like, all right, let's go to Macfest now. <laughs> now, now that you've uh, taken down the wall to your hotel room, expanded it a little. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Any questions from the chat? Anything? How do we make retcon? That's my question to the chat. Hmm. I don't That's know. A good question. It's not really a good question. Who the fuck would go to that? But Well, I put out something on Twitter, like, sort of like an... Would people do, like, an LP festival kind of thing? Sort of like the AGDQs, but more LP yeah. focus. And a lot of people have been really receptive to that. And I am awful at planning, so it's never going to happen. But... I would like no, to. No, like, just... people want that. Yeah. And I'll I see what I can try and do. I like the idea. I think it's a good idea. Could have Smite's game show, like kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's that's the kind of stuff I want to do. Things yeah. that are fun to do live. Throwing controller. I think like you know what my uh, it's like if you could have a less rigid kind of AGDQ too. Like nothing against it, but it's a speed running event, so there's certain things right. that are like definite about speed runs. But you could like have like fuck it, you know, um, throw out you know what I mean? Like there's a lot you could do with it. God, this is a wonderful idea. Retcon is born. No, um, I'll go to LPCon, but only if it's all Final Fantasy games. That's fair. In order. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I only accept JRPG speedruns, LPs. <laughs> and then, but uh, security will throw you out if you plug your channel. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear a very angry Proton John. <laughs> wow, I'm kind of warming up to this idea, actually. So all in all, Magfest, we liked it. We'd recommend it. Yes. We hope to could return. Someday. Someday. Um, yeah, I think uh that's everything, yeah. right? Anything else? Yeah. Cool. Um also, I think so. also Devil Daggers. Really fun game that I think I'm gonna get bored of in like two days. I quit watching <laughs> it like hours ago. Yeah, it's hmm. I think it says something too that I, I, I don't think I've I don't I don't feel too distracted while I podcast it. <laughs> I got. I did get a new record though, seventy three seconds. So, are they daggers that you're firing though? Um. Yeah. Of course they are. I'm not not seeing the daggers. Well, they're pointed outward, so you're seeing the handle look like, like pointed toward you. They just look like bullets. They don't look like knives. I don't believe I fucking do shit with you. What a waste. Yes. And how? Where do the daggers come from? I'm throwing them. I'm just very. F- Wait, they're daggers. See. What do you mean, see? So, so I'm not the only Skip one. Bullshit. Can neither of you is the question? They're fucking devil daggers, motherfucker. Why are they red? Oh, tell you what. Because they're the devil. What do you say? <laughs> we just record part two right now so I can talk about American Horror Story season six, the rest of it. Wow, what do, I got I got a th- I got a thing scheduled. Right. So uh What sleep? Yeah, um, yeah got, got a, a uh, bottle bleach. Just have a meeting, you know. All right. Well, in that case, uh, thanks for thanks for watching, everybody. Listening, podcast. Thanks for doing the panel, pal. Thanks for doing the panel. On to, on to RTX or PAX. Hopefully, uh, both of those. Cause I haven't heard back on either. But. Well, we are going to both. Yeah, we're going to those. Let's bring Brian to those. We need that. Brian, buddy, pal. We need you. Mm-hmm. All righty. Shall we? Dead to rights? Let's rights. Dead. Dead. Right. Dead.